Hi, my name's Lynn. We're going to do some chair yoga today. So find yourself a chair that's a nice sit upright chair, not a cushioned chair, more of a dining room chair, a kitchen chair. Sit yourself on it, sit yourself upright. So very often you may not find that it's comfortable with your feet on the floor. So I've put some weights that I found in the gym underneath my feet. You might want to find maybe cookery books, some nice big book. Um, or if you've got yoga blocks, yoga blocks are a good thing to put underneath your feet. But have your feet so that they're completely flat on the floor, nice and firm on the floor, and that your knees are about a right angle and your hips are about a right angle. So you'll feel the backs of your thighs against the chair, but they're not dangling down off the chair. So it's important to sit up with your legs in a strong position so that they can support your upper body. So feel your feet on the floor. Feel the underside of your legs on the seat of the chair. Sit up away from the back of the chair and elongate your spine. Relax your shoulders. We're going to take a couple of breaths here, just sitting up tall. So you'll use your legs, you'll use that pressure down through the seat of your chair and the pressure down through your feet. As you breathe in, lift up through your spine, come to your full sitting height. And then as you exhale, keep that height but relax your shoulders. So take a few breaths like that. working down through the seat of the chair and through your feet. Bring your arms by your sides. This time as you breathe in, lift your arms up towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, bring them back down. So you don't have to go the same pace as me, but inhaling to lift up. Exhale to bring them back down. And maybe take a moment just to relax your legs and your feet. Let them be floppy. Feel how much different it feels when you lift your arms up and down. Ground down through the seat of the chair. Ground down through your feet again. It's like that grounding down gives you a bit of lift in your spine, a bit of lightness. Final lift up, and a final lower down. And let your arms rest wherever they're comfy, with your shoulders relaxed. But stay sitting upright, still so use your legs and your feet. Shoulders are completely relaxed and still. You're going to turn your head to the right. Slowly to your comfortable maximum, and then slowly back to the centre. To the left. to the center. Over to the right again. Shoulders still square to the front. Back to the center. And then to the left. And the center. Your right ear moves towards your right shoulder. You get a stretch on the left side of your neck. Stay there if that feels enough, or you can relax your left arm down by the side and then bring it out to an angle. As you pull your fingers diagonally away from you, get a bit more stretch on the left side of your neck. Just take as much stretch as you feel is good. You stretch your arm, then relax your arm first. Slowly bring your head back up. left ear towards your left shoulder. So relax your right shoulder, feel the stretch on the right side of your neck. If you want to, let your arm hang down and then stretch it out on the diagonal. Release that 
a stretch. Gently bring your head back upright. Shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. And then move them down away from your ears. All the way up. All the way down. Up again. And down. And then a roll of your shoulders backwards, up to the top, all the way forwards, and down away from your ears. A few circles in that direction. Bottom change direction, forwards, up, back and down. One more full circle. And then relax your shoulders. Still sitting tall. Reach your arms up in front, make fists. And you're going to rotate to your wrists. So both inwards. See how still you can keep your arms and how much you can move your fists. And then back the other way. shake and then push both palms away so fingers are extended upwards to the ceiling try and push the base of your palm further forward than the base of your fingers and then let the fingers point downwards so again the fingers point to the floor the top of the back of your wrist trying to pull forwards of the base of your fingers. And then relax, give your wrists a shake. So you can have a sit back in your chair now if you want to take a little bit of break or you can stay sitting upright. We're gonna rotate the ankles. So right ankle, circle that right ankle. You're not moving the leg moving the foot. And clicks are all good, you might be able to hear mine. <laughs> Take it back the other way. Point your toes away. So you're stretching the top of your foot and then push the heel away, pull your toes up towards you. Point again. And flex. Point. Flex. And then bring your right foot down onto the floor. Pick up the left leg, circle that left ankle. It's like if your big toe had a, a pen nib on the end of it, you're trying to draw as big a circle as you can. And then draw the circle the other way around. away from you and then push your heel away pull your toes up towards you point and flex one more point and one more flex and then bring your foot back down on the floor so sit yourself tall in the chair again feel the backs of your legs on the seat of the chair your feet firm on the floor do a bit of movement for the spine. I'm going to turn the chair side on so that you can see me a little bit better. So hands on your knees. You're going to round your spine out behind you. Your tailbone tucks under and your chin tucks in. Pushing your back ribs out towards the back of the chair. 
And then straighten up again. Push your tailbone back as if you're trying to touch the back of the chair with your tailbone. Lift your chest, roll your shoulders back, arch your back. So we're going to make those two movements with the breath. If it's too slow and you want to take more breaths, just take more breaths, that's fine. Take a breath in here and then as you exhale, come back through neutral and then round your back. Inhale back through neutral and arch your back. arms on your chair take your right hand across and hold the arm if you haven't got an arm take your hand onto your leg that's all okay we're going to lean over to the uh, right side so as you lean over to the right side your left leg is going to want to lift up a little bit off the chair but ground it back down so the base of your spine doesn't move your spine curves Stay there. If you want a bit more stretch, take the left hand on the back of your head. Lift that elbow up to the ceiling, but keep your left hip firmly down on the floor, on the, on the chair seat. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, just relax your right shoulder. Let yourself curb to the right. So breath in, stretch the left side. Exhale, relax and curve through the right breath in and then a breath out gently bring yourself back to the center again holding the outside of your leg or the arm of the chair you're going to lean over to the left feel how your weight goes onto the left side so try to even the weight through both legs your left shoulder and then if you want you take your right hand on the back of your head lift your elbow up as you push your right leg down into the chair take a breath in and then as you exhale soften your left side let yourself curve breath in to lift up and a breath out to soften the left shoulder Breath in, a big stretch on the right side. Breath out, soft, heavy left side. And gently back to the center. Sit tall again. I'm gonna make a twist on the chair. I'm gonna to turn to the side once again. Take your right hand either on the outside of your leg or on your chair, wherever it feels comfortable, and take your left hand somewhere else on the chair where you've just got a little bit of support. It can be wherever you want. And then find yourself sitting tall again. Backs of the legs on the chair, feet on the floor, spine lifted, and your shoulders relaxed. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, take a bit of a turn to your left. So take another breath in. Grow tall. As you exhale, turn yourself a little further around. You can look over your left shoulder. Breath in to lift tall. Breath out to turn. One more breath in, relaxing your shoulders. And a breath out to turn. Very gently turn your head to face the front. 
and then bring your body round as well. Take your left hand onto the seat, onto the arm of the chair or your leg, wherever it feels comfortable to give you a little bit of a leverage for when you're ready to turn. And your right hand somewhere else on the chair a little bit further back. Sit tall, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, start turning. Let your ribs turn a little bit to the right. Breath in, lift up tall again. Exhale, turn. Look over your right shoulder if your neck is happy to. Breath in to lift up. Breath out to turn. One more breath in. One more breath out. Gently turn your head back to the front. And then unwind your body as well. Take your feet a little wider apart, maybe hip distance apart. Hands on your knees. Think about pushing your tailbone towards the back of the chair. Allow your back just gently starts to arch. And then lean forwards. As you lean forwards, keep pushing your tailbone back. It's like the skin on the backs of your thighs pushes back towards the back of the chair. We're coming into a forward fold. So you may want to stop here and you can rest your elbows on your knees if you want to or your hands on your knees. Maybe you can go a little bit further over. Perhaps you can even slide your hands down your legs, hold your ankles or your feet. Wherever you come to though, give yourself enough support so that you can relax your shoulders and let your head hang. So whether you're down here, if you haven't got quite as far as that, then it's fine to be up here. As long as you give yourself the support you need to relax your shoulders and your head and neck. Take a few slow breaths here. As you breathe in, try to push your tailbone back out along the seat of the chair towards the back of the chair. And then as you breathe out, soften your shoulders, relax your head and neck. Take a few breaths like that. Breathing in, pushing your tailbone back. Breathing out, softening your shoulders. slow breaths here so a breath in and a breath out relaxing your shoulders one more breath in and a breath out if your hands have moved down from your knees bring them back up onto your knees bring your chin towards your chest tummy button to spine very gently press on your knees to bring yourself back up yourself tall. Take a roll of your shoulders. And we're done. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the class.